everybody it's me Andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 Hertz the, f the f universal frequency so today <clears throat> I'm gonna be going over abundance uh, and uh, the earth and its abundance and various different blockages of abundance are receiving uh, everything in abundance, right? So let's get into this. So uh, the earth is a very, very abundant plane. It's a very abundant world, planet. Uh, nature is very abundant in how it is designed right everything is designed in such a way that is making sure it's to uh, it's to sustain itself in a certain in a certain way right um, and within that design there is abundance which is pretty much being in excess of, uh, let's say, resource um, to sustain the life. Otherwise, abundance may not be needed because it's of a certain um, dimension of being, right? There's an abundance of, uh, of of different things which is supposed to sustain the correspondence to that right so that's just a bubble or a certain sphere that's pretty much a continuation continue continuating its own um its own conception right but let me see the, the resource there's the resource of everything right um, and even if there is uh, there's little absences of abundance there, there's a reason for that because there's a break in the natural design of things or there's been a redesign in those specific space times to pretty much break that chain of continuity which sustains the law of abundance within the, the, the specific space time correspondent right so what I mean by this is that um, if there's not an abundance of things naturally then there's there's a, a definite redesign that can be found in the coding of that space time which may translate to um, if you read the, the encrypted then it may translate to um, you know somebody tampering with it and and uh, and breaking that chain of continuity once again of the abundance but there's abundance um, and if it's not in a certain dimension let's say if there's not an abundance of food or even water and this is just an example because it could go into anything uh, but food and water is one of the is, is very very common example of uh, being in abundance of something but if there's not any of this there could have been a redesign so that the chain of continuity has been broken and that the law has been skewed or there could be uh, there could even be a a uh, potential gateway that can be accessed in that uh, absence of abundance and what I mean by this is that if there's an absence of certain things, 
which should be globally abundant, then that can be a gateway or that can be potentialities to be harnessed in order to uh, further evolution or even revolutionize something within the space-time correspondent to that uh, specific absence. Right, an absence. So even if there isn't uh, an abundance of something, this can purely be conceptualized because abundance is found within oneself. It's not uh, it's not portionated, right? Uh, it's not a proportionate or a proportion. Let's say you have like um, a farm, 120 acres of, of pure apple trees, right? And they're all growing apples. You have hundreds of thousands of apples, right? Or maybe even more. Um, you could say this is abundance, but just because there is a, a lot of it, doesn't necessarily mean that it is abundance, right? But one apple could be abundance if you understand that it's just a degree of. Uh, it just depends on the one on one's perception of it, right? Because one person can be fed for uh, weeks with just one apple, and that ability comes from uh, a breakage in the various different routines or the. In the design, in the coding, right? Because you've definitely been conditioned, at least in this life and in this modern day, and in societal codes, the support is that, or the condition is written that um, you should be fed at least once a day, right? That's what uh, that's what's being backed. Which is which is normal thing, right? Uh, people are eating five, six, seven times a day, which is still within normalcy, to relative to the conditionings that have been programmed into us, right? Uh, and there's still an abundance. People can be eating six, seven times a day, uh, very large meals. And, and everybody can be doing this and there's still an abundance of, of food, right? And this is just using food as an example for something in abundance. Um, but then once again, if you're able to break that little, that little looping or that little condition, if you're able to dissolve it away, break that routine program, then, um, uh, you're able to completely distort the the what was once proportionate um, to something that is more, let's say, more efficient, or or maybe yeah, more efficient. I would say, right, because it's very efficient to be able to just be fed off of uh, a few pieces of fruit, let's say for for weeks at a time. Not that you need to do that. But that's what the capability is at, which the capability is kept undergrounded, subconscious, because um, obviously there's a war on consciousness, uh, which trickles into these types of things. So let me see the, uh, what was it, the... Oh, abundance. Uh, abundance is decided within oneself. Once you understand that, then life is extremely abundant. No matter where you are, who you are, what is, there's no questioning that is even needed when it comes to abundance because abundance is the law of everything. Um, nature is very abundant. Once again, even if there's no food, you have to understand that the, that the design in the process of nature is onto something, right? Uh, 
maybe it could lead to a revolution within within a certain space time corresponding to what you think is lack of abundance or it could even lead to uh, certain developmental factors anything you know evolution uh, and these are just very 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 minute examples of uh, lack of abundance and, and how even that is an abundance right so everything is an abundance is of an, is of an, is of an abundance uh, if you switch to breath as a source of energy then you know that the abundance it multiplies itself to an infinitude right then you can deepen your abundance you can deepen the code of abundance within yourself and then you can cycle in this and generate more for yourself which is just letting go of more because in that sense more is less but I do thank everybody for watching once again peace out one love have a great morning